Welcome to this video. Good morning. In this video, we will discuss about vibration magnetometer. So, vibration magnetometer is basically, a, it consists of a wooden box with a glass windows provided with the leveling screws at the bottom. Up over a glass window in the way, you can see a wooden box with a glass window. Glass on the windows on the other e level are come and screws in the bottom. At the top of the wooden box from the center, a long brass tube is fitted vertically. Uh, a torsionless fiber is suspended from the top of the brass tube carrying a light brass strip. The bar magnet can be placed horizontally on the stirrup and the oscillations can be viewed from the top glass window. E wooden box in a mold light to a tube under our tube in a little with a fiber uh, torsionless fiber under other Namaku in the Amuri magnet in Amuku two key damitum. Upper E magnet in the Pratay the shell or horizontal plane, other vibrate the ambitum. Upper other oscillate and magnet in oscillate and sadicum. And the period of oscillation is given by 2 pi root of L by I by MBH. I is the moment of inertia of the magnet about the axis of rotation. Oscillation and M is the magnetic moment of the magnet. BH is the horizontal density of the Earth's magnetic field. That is I and the the magnet in the moment of inertia. And M is the magnetic moment of the magnet. And BH is the horizontal intensity. That is a rectangular bar magnet. In the uh, moment of inertia in the the M into L square plus B square by 12. That is M in the, the magnet, magnet in the mass. And L is the length of the magnet. And B is the breadth of the magnet. And other than the square, t square is equal to 4 pi square i by mbh, mbh is equal to 4 pi square i l by t square, i by t square. Other than the measuring the vibration period, period of vibration, we measure the moment of inertia, and moment of inertia calculate the angle. Other than the mbh calculate the ambitum. mbh is calculated by vibration magnetometer, m by bh is calculated by diffraction magnetometer. Then, we have a tansy position in the diffraction magnetometer. We will talk about how we are doing it. Then, we will talk about the details in the last video. We will talk about the initial adjustment. Tan A position is 0, 0. Tan B position is 90, 90. Compass box is 90, 90. This arm is parallel. We will talk about the tansy position. We will talk about the magnet in the vertical light. That is in the diffraction magnetometer center. We will talk about the compass box. Sender la magnetic field, mar magnetic kono nunda agudha magnetic field nuna parayi nathu mu zero by four pi p into one by d square minus d by d square plus l square is to three by two. Agar na tangent lo abhiyo vichhu magnetic field nuna parayi nathu b is equal to b h tan theta. Adil nuna namak p da value that is dipole pole strength of the magnet ana p nuna parayi nathu. Ab angane namak e p da value namak kandu vidhya mettu tan c position le abhiyo vichhu onda. Apa vibration magnetometer itu boleh uji M by BH value kan dibudi kiam betul. M by M BH ini value kan dibudi kiam betul. M by BH ini value diffraction magnetometer le tan E atau tan B position, atau lagi tan C position itu boleh uji kan dibudi kiam. Adil lalu, nama kau M um BH ini kan dibudi kiam betul. So this is what the details about the vibration magnetometer. So once again, the important equation is two pi root of I by M BH ini barang ini dahana. M BH ini the value which we can find using diffraction magnetometer and uh, the time period can be found from the value or if you know the value of BH, we can find out uh, the value. If we put the value of BH, we can find the value of M and if we measure the value of T from the experiment. Thank you one and all.